Hello, 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 friends. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a very long overdue video. We have here Manny Ologies, Manny by Me Box for October 2020. But first, on my nails, I have Hollow Tacos Indigo, uh, Indigo Away, and then I've got uh, just some fall designs here. But let's go ahead and get into the box, because I know that's what you came here for. Um, first of all, this is a monthly subscription box from Maniology. It is $25 a month, or if you purchase it three months at a time, it's like $22, uh, roughly. And then if you purchase it one month at a time, it's actually $20 a month or $120 for six months. Um, but this one is the theme of Snow Day. If you want to go ahead and pause it here, you can read the card that talks about it. Uh, every single box comes with a manicure tutorial card. This is the tutorial card for this particular manicure. Uh, super cute. I don't know if I'll try to recreate it, but uh, super cute though. Anyway, so there is that. Uh, let's go ahead and take the package here out of the box. If you are new to the Manny by Me boxes, your very first subscription box does come with a stamper and a scraper, but all of the boxes after that do not because you've already got one, so you don't necessarily need another one. Although I do have like 20 scrapers and stampers, so that's beside the point. Um, but every single box does come with this little stamping guide. If you're new to stamping, it works great. It's got some great tricks and tips and tricks uh, to help you out on your stamping journey. Um, they usually do send gummies or stickers. I'm loving these new stickers that they sent. This one is by far my favorite that I have received. Absolutely love it. Cute little flowers in a mason jar that says stay true. Uh, every single box comes with two plates, two polishes, and an extra item. This is the extra item here on this one. It is little gold studs uh, in different uh, shapes and things. It does have uh, instructions on the back on how to uh, apply them. I'm not going to apply them in this video, but if you want a tutorial on how to do it, let me know. Uh, here are the plates that come with this particular box. Super cute. This one is Maniology MXM043. It's got uh, some fun little layering things. I love the little reindeer where you can put the little faces and the snowman uh super cute but we'll look at that here in a little bit here is the other one it is maniology mxm044 sorry about seeing my face there in the camera uh, but again super cute santa with the sleigh very cute um, and then, like I said, every single box does come with two polishes. The polishes are not limited edition. Neither is the extra item. The plates are what's exclusive. There is an express option. So if you're not interested in having the polishes, you can definitely get the express option. I believe that's like $18 a month. Uh, and you get the extra item and the two plates. But here are the two polishes. Super cute. We'll go ahead and get these uh, swatched. Uh, but this first one here is absolutely beautiful. It does remind me a little bit of a couple of the colors. So I'll compare some of the colors here at the end of the video. Uh, this one is frigid. It is uh, a blue that actually changes color to a purple when uh, it gets hotter. Um, so it actually does change color, and I'll show you here in a little bit how it does that. Um, both of these polishes were a little bit dry. Like, I hate to say that, but they weren't nearly as creamy as what I had hoped they would be. Uh, through the magic of television, these are already dry. It has been a couple of minutes, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put on the second coat. The second coat did go on much better for both of these, but uh, again, it wasn't quite as creamy as what I was hoping, uh, but still really pretty colors, but I would say they might could probably use uh, one or two drops of a polish thinner. Um, so I need to go ahead and pick up a new bottle of that and then get that done. Uh, with all of my polishes, I swatched the top with this kawaii emoji uh, plate from Maniology BMXL uh, 325. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with the frigid here uh, and we'll show you how that swatches. With how uh, sticky it is, I really wasn't expecting it to swatch that well. Uh, it swatched okay though. It definitely swatched okay. It didn't stick through the whole top of the bottle, so I apologize about that. Didn't cover so great over the back, but it did stamp beautifully over the white. 
Um, I do have to say these are probably some of my least favorite of Maniology's recent polishes. Um, but, you know, pretty colors. So if you're, you're getting the box, they're fine. Um, but then we'll go ahead and do this other one here. This one is a beautiful color. Um, after doing that first swatch, it did start swatching better. It did start, uh, polishing better, but it is a really pretty, uh, almost a coppery rose gold color. Here it is, uh, combined with a couple of these. So this is this, this is the new color compared with Jack. Uh, and then this next one here, uh, is Python. Um, it's actually almost a spitting image to Python. Python has a little bit more rose gold to it, uh, but not as much uh, as the other color. Um, but uh, it is still a really pretty color. There it is with Snowdrift. Snowdrift definitely more on the rose gold end. Uh, and then the last one here is up against Magic Hour. Magic Hour, definitely more rose gold. Um, just kidding. Totally another one. That one was Gold Rush. Um, but you know, again, pretty color. So let's go ahead and get into how to use some of these images. I love these reindeer that you can put the face on the snowman that you can do the face and the little hats and things. Uh, and then there's these two images up here with the circles and then the snowflakes. You can do the circles with the, um, with the, the, uh, ornaments, but we're going to go ahead and do the circles with the snowflakes. So I'm going to just take a plain swatch stick here. And we're actually going to take uh, the new color. I keep forgetting what it's called. I apologize. I've already put it away. So I don't remember what the color is called. Um, but it swatches nicely once you've kind of gotten used to it. Um, we'll go ahead and get that cleaned up here. And then we're going to take the frigid and swatch that over the snowflakes. and scrape and then just a nice smooth touch to go ahead and pick up the snowflakes and I'm just lining it up that's what I love about the clear stampers uh, is that you can line it up actually quite nicely it's harder to see on the clear swatch stick but it does look really pretty with the uh, coppery uh, rose gold color underneath and then the frigid uh, blue color over top um, and then the last thing that I'm going to do here is actually on this little sample now, just to kind of show you some things you can do. I'm going to take here and just do a little quick French tip on the end of it. And I think it would look really pretty to maybe do that as an accent nail. Um, very fun. So there is that one. Then we're going to go ahead and do this other one here. I apologize about this image being flipped. I don't know how that happened. Um, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do this long line of the snowflakes um i just have this here painted in the fleece that's what it's called it's called fleece i apologize about that and then i'm going to take the frigid and just do the uh, snowflakes the long line of snowflakes here and just simply stamp it onto the swatch stick that has fleece first of all remove the excess i'm so sorry about that being out of camera there um, again, I'm not sure how the image here got flipped, and I apologize for this little part of the video being flipped. But uh, go ahead and stamp it, and super easy, super simple. I really like how this one turned out. There are two just quick samples of what you can do, um, but I'm really actually quite liking this box. I would say I actually like this box better than last year's Christmas box that they did in November. Um, it's just a really fun uh, box, really fun colors. I like the color changing. Um, the studs, I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I'll try them. Again, I love the sticker. Um, and then let's go ahead and show you the swatch sticks here. Here's where I'm going to show you how it changes color. So I just put a little bit of pressure on it so that my body heat kind of activated it and you can kind of see how it changed to purple. So it's really fun color changing polish. It does change back fairly quickly though. Um, but you know, again, it's a fun little color. kind of reminds me a little bit of a mood. Uh, but anyhow, so there you have it until next time. I promise it won't be as long. Don't forget to subscribe.